Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and uh, I hope everybody's good out there. Uh, just started getting ready to make this video, and then my sinuses went to uh, act up. I'm dusting cars, so just took an allergy pill. I hope it'll kick in. Um, but guys, uh, real quick. Um, you know, uh, it's a blessing uh, to have guys in the hobby and uh, guys that appreciate guys that, uh, I mean, the greatest people, uh, modelers, guys that collect die cast, and you guys that, that do your plastic model cars. And uh, of course, I like to build uh, World War II ships and airplanes. And, and just everybody across the whole hobby, just just, just the whole hobby part of uh, the military uh, uh, collecting and the die cast collecting. It's just, I, I, I've only been doing uh, videos for about two years. The internet's been around a long time. I didn't know how to do it. Uh, I didn't know how many people collect it. And uh, I found out that it's a whole world out there. And uh, to have uh, you guys know, you guys write me, I write you back. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, I built this model, Fantastic Voyage, for a retired police officer. His name is Dan. This guy is just super cool. Number one, he drives a 2017 uh, Challenger Hemi. Custom louver vent side windows back uh, cold air intake special grill and all uh, You know, I took some pictures of it Today, but I didn't take great pictures. I but I uh, I did I did take a a couple uh, Darn it, uh, okay, well So here's the front. Oh, the, the, the glare is horrible. Uh, there's the front of his car. And, and he's standing. I have, a light, I have a light over there. And the glare is just awful. I don't, there's nothing I can do about that. And um, I don't know if I can bring it up here. There's the louvers. And, uh, darn it, Dad, I'm going to get you in this picture. So there's Dan. He's standing there. That's the front of his car. This thing is cool. So he said he's had about six of them. And uh, I wish I, I, I had to have light so I, to make the video. I didn't think about that. So, um, yeah. Uh, I built this model for Fantastic Voyage and gave it back to him today. And as a gift, he said, Chico, these are for you. Uh, this 1957 Pontiac Bonneville. I mean, uh, Franklin Mint. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. And then it just doesn't get any better when you get a 1959 Cadillac Eldorado Baritz Franklin Mint. On top of which he gave me some cash. And and I had took so long to return the model to him that I didn't even want anything. I didn't even want it cash. Guys, I'm telling you, the, the people in this hobby, uh, it, it, it is just a fantastic uh, genre that we have. I know some of you guys, uh, I've had a few say, oh, just... Show cars and don't talk. Well, at least you're being honest. Yeah, I didn't realize sometimes I do talk a little bit. But I enjoy this hobby. That's why I do what I do. Uh, that's why I make the videos. Uh, and it's fun to tune in and, and look at your guys' stuff. I, I do look. And, um, and let's look at this. Let's look at this. So we've got this 50. We've got this uh, 57. And uh, she's cool. Uh, I like this back seat, which is different. It's two-toned. 
It's white over here, black over here. Of course, these are carbonate cars with super cool detail on the interior. Uh, and I, because of the way the lighting is tonight, guys, I apologize. But uh, it, it is really nice. Uh, even the valve stems uh, come through the hubcaps. You can look at the front. Which I love these little uh, Pontiac used to have, like a Pontiac. It was like his arm was out, I think, on the emblem. It's been a while since I thought about a, about the 50s cars. And underneath, you know, Frank Lament really does just a super job on this stuff. And the exhaust comes out the back. And uh, the, 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 of course, a spare tire with a jack and painted up. And of course, the hood is. Uh, do they have the insulator on it? No, no insulator on it. But you know, the engine is completely detailed in there. And uh, my sinuses are still going. Uh, the antenna here in the back. And uh, this is going to go, obviously, with my 124s. I got a few Franklin mints and Danbury mints around here. Not very many. And uh, this is the Cadillac Eldorado Moritz. Uh, this this was a hell of a car. Now, my, actually, I'm not lying. My grandfather, uh, he had this car. Uh, it wasn't convertible. It was a hard top. And the reason why I'm saying because when I was a kid, I loved those taillights. And they just fascinated the hell out of me when I was a kid. Uh, I was uh, born 51, and uh, we had a summer home. My grandfather would drive and go down and, and, and I would lay in the living room. The back seat was a living room. And then when I would get out and then these, these taillights, the, I, was, again, I was just fascinated by them. Uh, and this is convertible and uh, it's, it's gorgeous looking on the inside, carpeted at all. Really nice details on the car. And then I got I got the the 118 he gave me. I I just can't believe how generous. Uh, I I mean it just blows you off the chart when somebody does this for you, and uh, it, it's just incredible. And um, I must have said thank you a thousand times. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, you know I don't have any of my auto I keys close by. Yes, I do. Let's see if I can get the doors open. So this is a four-door. Get those open. This has got a cool wood grain, uh, wood tone interior. Uh, it's, it's got uh, really cool armrests in there. And uh, it has... Now, I don't know much about I haven't seen one of these Cadillacs with the V16. This this engine has twin blowers on it. So, uh, and headers. So, I would assume that it's pretty damn quick. Uh, I know about the LSs in the Cadillacs and the Corvettes. I'll show you the underneath. And the exhaust comes out through the tailpipes. We still, we still like doing that. But to my friend Dan, uh, uh, I just want to say thank you. This this is just incredible to add these cars to my collection. And I, I promise Dan, I, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep the video short. Uh, I promise uh, my friend that uh, I would ask you, anybody out there, 
knows how to either get decals made. Uh, if uh, he has uh, Dan's a modeler himself, and he's been building police cars for years. That's his thing, and uh, he has them all at his police station. Dan, Upper Darby, right, Dan? I'm, I'm hoping I'm right. Uh, and his grandson is in uh, models mili uh, military too. Uh, I've yet to meet him, but uh, uh, anyway, his grandson is trying to build police cars for all 50 states, and they're having trouble with some decals. Now, I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they're trying to find, for 124th scale SUV for Ford, uh, the, borough, uh, uh, the Borough of Media Police Department, uh, I guess I'm saying that right, uh, uh, and they, they're trying to get some decals for this. And uh, he's, they say that they do know how to get, I guess, some, but they're having a difficulty trying to find some made up for this. So if there's any advice out there for doing decals, maybe shoot me a line so that I could pass it on to him or either give me an, an email address that I could pass on to him. I would truly like to help him out with that. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, he, his uh, 2017 uh, uh, Challenger is uh, uh, it's a gorgeous car, just gorgeous. So, uh, all right, all right. So, uh, I think I'll try and just end up letting you guys know I got a couple of cars because I definitely this is definitely was not. And my budget, I got the, I got the GTX, and I'm glad you guys liked it. Uh, I, I've heard of at least uh, more than a half dozen of you have contacted me. Some of you said I've got all three. I've got green, and I've got all three colors, and uh, I've heard from a lot of you. Uh, one guy said, Chico, I have that. It's a great car. Now he's got a Mustang he's working on, so I don't know whether he's going to stay in the hobby or not, but... Everybody out there gave me uh, some really nice comments on the GTX, so thank you guys very much. I appreciate that. Uh, let me give a shout out to my military folks, uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Uh, it rough out there, fellas. Uh, so please, uh, uh, first responders as well, uh, we appreciate what you do. So I always want to acknowledge that and say thank you. Uh, uh, put your faith in the Lord. Uh, also, uh, I can't say enough about the camaraderie and uh, and the kindness that uh, uh, that you have in this hobby with people. And uh, there could be better folks out there than uh, us guys in this uh, diecast world we live in. And uh, since I found this world, I've been pretty happy. So I think. I want to take time to say thank you to everybody that takes time to look at my videos, regardless of whether I make a good one or a bad one. I appreciate you taking the time. You guys call me out on it. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you long. I promise to keep it short. Uh, one more time, one more shout out to my, uh, to Dan. Oh, uh, guys, he gave me this too. Marilyn Monroe. Whoa. And this is the JFK. This is when she sang Mr. President. So I got that on a little cool stand. Got this over by my Budweiser trucks. All right, it's time to go. Miller makes me happy. As I say to you guys all the time, stay safe. Peace out, Chico.